I'm John Quelch, uh, Dean at the University of Miami Herbert Business School, and I want to bring you today a message of hope, especially to all of those of you who are out of work as a result of uh, the coronavirus crisis through no fault of your own. And to all of those of you who are at home, perhaps remotely working, but who are feeling much less in control of your lives uh, than you used to when things were going well. In particular, I want to give you the hope that so many innovations, so many great companies have been born during a time of recession. So I remember, for example, in the uh, 1975 recession, the economy was in terrible shape. That was the year that Bill Gates founded Microsoft. It was also the year that Jack Bogle founded Vanguard Mutual Funds now one of the biggest, if not the biggest, mutual fund company in the world in terms of assets under management. And then fast forward to 1982, the economy was again in recession. Uh, other than the Great Depression of the 1930s, it was the worst recession between then and 2008. E-Trade was launched in that year. And what about some great companies that were founded during the Great Recession of 2008? Instacart, Slack, Modernizing Medicine, and Carvana, to name just a few. So there's a tremendous opportunity at this moment of disruption, at this moment of confusion, for companies to be founded, for new problem-solving ideas to be generated and to be implemented. So what do you have to do in order to take advantage of this opportunity? How can you become an entrepreneur at a time when businesses are closing, everybody's desperate? Well, now's the time to think about what you might be able to create. And remember, the United States is the country in the world that has the best track record of innovation not just because we're innovative, but because consumers and customers in the United States are willing to embrace innovation. So the first thing you need is a problem. You have to identify a customer problem, a pain point, a need that is currently unsatisfied satisfactorily in this environment. Second, you have to identify your solution. What is it that you're going to bring to solve that particular pain point? And remember, think customer, think customer solution. Not a solution for yourself, but for the customer. Famous marketing guru, Ted Levitt, always used to say, people don't buy quarter inch drills. They buy quarter inch holes. That is the problem that the quarter inch drill bit solves, the provision of the quarter inch hole. So you've got to find a solution that addresses the pain point that has, that has come across the radar under this new disrupted environment. So number one problem, number two solution. Number three, people. You've got to have a certain amount of expertise or competence in the area that you're thinking about addressing. That doesn't mean you have to be an MIT scientist. It just means that you have to have a depth of understanding of the territory that you're trying to address with your new idea. And in addition to that, it's always good if you can find one or two people to travel along with you on this journey. Even Steve Jobs had Steve Wozniak, as you may remember, uh, for many years uh, after the founding of uh, his company. We need capital. That might be friends, it might be family at this difficult time to get started. But in my experience, there's no shortage of capital, even in a recession, for a really good idea. So don't let the issue of where am I going to get the money get in your way. If you've got really outstanding ideas about how to solve important problems that a lot of people are confronting, you will find the capital. 
This is a time of disruption, it's a time of confusion, it's a time of opportunity. For those who are bold enough to embrace change, for those of who are smart enough to see the future and to understand what products or services are now going to be needed that haven't been delivered up to now. Good luck.